time at Clive Lee Engineering is drawing to a close. Before we can move Mariah across to Tredcheck for our final tweaks to her bodywork, there are a few things that need to be sorted out. And a little later the boys from Clive Lee take Mariah for a test drive. It is a new week, it is a new day. Oh, hello my friends, how are you all? And uh, yeah, we have got a brand spanking new aluminium radiator. Um, I'm very happy with the quality of the work on the radiator itself. Uh, I was contacted by the guys from Silverton saying they have now made this cowl thing across the top. To me it looks like a bent piece of uh, galvanized plating stuff. Anyway, it's done. All that remained was to connect the fan. I had to give my mate Mike in Glovo a call, the auto electrician, I called him Auto Mike, uh, just to come and wire up the fans for um, the radiator. And uh, what the guys at Clive Lee asked him to do was also to put in an extra toggle switch. Now it's the, the, the fan on, the, on the, the radiator will come on and off on its own. But if you see the temperatures rising and that fan is not coming on, we've also got, uh, we're, yeah, no, we're going to just find a place for it, but we've got this toggle switch, which uh, you can use um, that overrides that one. You guys who are following our journey are sharp, very sharp. Little escapes your attention. Interesting comment was made on my last insert. Somebody said, uh, putting diesel in a red jerry can now i must admit i had to go to google for this because i've got yellow jerry cans for diesel red ones for my fuel uh, for normal unleaded and i always thought it had something to do with you know the plastic that they were made from it is not it's purely color coding it's got nothing to do with the actual makeup of the kind of plastic or material that the fuel container was made from so i learned something new Randy and his team now start to fix more half done work from the past. At the moment the guys are busy making brackets to hold all the turbo pipes in place. There were no brackets um, and uh, so those, there was a bit of movement in the pipe. So what Randy is doing, he's made aluminium strips with a rubber lining inside that goes around these pipes. I thought these pipes got hot but apparently not. So and that's a good thing, everything's going to be held in place the way it should be done. And now for more dodgy workmanship from the past. I ended last week's insert uh, talking about a little shocking discovery that I had regarding the doors to some of my compartments on the outside of Mariah. Well, uh, <laughs> let me show you what I was referring to. So what happened is last week when the guys pulled Mariah out, this compartment door fell open and as it fell open these things just pulled out now you can see other little self-tapping screws that went into plywood on here um, so all very weak very flimsy um, so I'm gonna have to sort that out and I will sort it out myself so the reason why this this shelf you see here was supposed to stay in this position was so it could be a bit of a work surface I promise you, if you cut a tomato on that, this thing would have broken. That's how cuck the quality of the workmanship was. Then when I opened this locker over here, which is on the opposite side last week, water had <laughs> seeped in between in here. So I mean, that, that plywood's just gonna go. We will need to check the seals on every one of our compartment doors. Something else I picked up, and uh, it's got nothing to do with the quality of the work that was done, are these paddle locks that I installed. Now, I got these paddle locks from a company called Fernlock in Durban. And when I ordered them, you know, I specifically asked, are these things coastal friendly? Can I use them on a vehicle? And I was told, yes, people use them on buckies and what, 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 what. They are all rusting. They are all rusting. So um, I have actually ordered stainless steel ones. They're a little bit bigger than this, so we're going to have to do <laughs> some modifications to the doors to fit them. Right, moving on. Over the last couple of weeks, Marai has been on a whirlwind tour of Port Shepston and Surround. Her latest adventure is to get her pipes sussed out. 
we have had another location change. Now, anybody in the film and television industry will know that when you do a location change, it is a mission. Fortunately, Mirai has been sailing between these locations without any incident. Uh, touch wood. Now, what we're going to have done here at this place, uh, it's called Power Flow, is we're going to have this thing fitted to the exhaust because the exhaust was literally bolted 100% rigid from the engine onto the chassis. Anybody with a bit of sus, which I do not have in this department, knows that that exhaust would have fallen apart very, very quickly. Another thing I decided to do is the uh, homemade exhaust outlet cover thing. Really looks cuck. And I don't want it anymore. So we're gonna put a proper one on. This somewhat wobbly footage shot by one of the Clive Lee Owens shows Mariah arriving back at Clive Lee with her pipes sorted. It is almost time for Mariah to face her final test drive by the team that rebuilt her engine. This journey to Clive Lee Engineering was a detour we never expected to encounter. Marai is getting spruced up inside and is almost looking respectable again. It's Friday afternoon and you can see we are all in our winter willies and that cold front that swept through South Africa has hit here hard. I mean, it's like 12 degrees. So we all are like snuggled up. I was hoping to take Marai home uh, for the weekend. But we've discovered that the bonnet catches like something has shifted there and she's not catching properly. But uh, we have to sort that out uh, before we can go anywhere. We are so close to getting our girl home. So very close. Okay, it is time for uh, me to go for a little test drive as a passenger with our man Donovan in the driver's seat. I am nervous as all hell. Past experience has made that nervousness par for the course. I really hope that there are no nasty surprises on our drive. Donovan drove Marai to the radiator guys and on that drive he mentioned that she had quite a body roll, something the guys have since worked on. Soon we shall know if that body roll has been sorted out. Marai pulled off and she sounded amazing. However, icy rain revealed more shoddy workmanship carried out on Marai by East Coast Scratch and Dent. Okay, well, one of the first things that I have noticed that uh, because we're driving in this rain is, is that we have got a leak and there's water coming in around the air conditioning unit. And I can remember the guy saying it was totally sealed, 100%. Um, obviously not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You know, in fact, anything I can do on this vehicle to obliterate uh, the whole feeling that East Coast Scratch and Dead had anything to do with it, I will be happy. I want to erase them from my memory. The test drive, however, was delivering on every level. The engine noise was right down from what it was. I could feel the power, Mirai's power, as we cruised along. The Donovan has just pointed out to me, we're cruising up this hill in fourth gear. So we have got a lot of power, a lot of power. And Donovan, when I last spoke to you, you said she had a bit of a body roll. Is it better now? Much better. Yeah? Much better. And you we made the play on the steering. Okay. Much better. Power wise, everything. I am super stoked about that uh, because that was a cause for concern. Um, generally, I mean, just sitting here, this is totally, totally different experience. We have got a vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have got a vehicle. Fortunately, I had hired our auto electrician and Donald McCullum, may he rest in peace, to do all of Mariah's electrical work. And so far, all was working well. So, from a <laughs> air condition that's dripping on my head, from inside Mariah, I am going to uh, bid you all adieu and uh, until I see you next week I can hardly speak I'm like I'm like I'm like whoa so yeah thanks guys please look after yourself look after your families look after your possessions and keep safe and oh yes keep those dreams alive <laughs>